Hey, I'm Gary Elders at Bayside Swan Skin Clinic in the Melbourne Bayside suburb of Mentone. And we've been here for 14 years helping people. Perhaps I think people who might just be a lot like you. Now, today, we're going to spend just a few minutes answering a question that somebody recently asked me. The question is, shouldn't my skin peel if I've just had a chemical peel? Wrong. This is one of the biggest myths about chemical peels because many people do not visibly peel after a chemical peel unless you've had a really strong phenol peel which we rarely use nowadays and these should only be used, can only be used by a dermatologist or a cosmetic surgeon because phenol peels are one of the most extreme peels that you can get. Also, our skin sheds about 30 million cells every hour, so we don't even see our skin peeling every second. These skin cells are coming off whether we've had a skin peel or not. So why would you even bother getting a skin peel? Well, firstly, as you may have guessed now, the reason we get a chemical peel is not to peel the skin. This is happening already. The reason we get chemical peels is to treat flaws and blemishes and problems beneath the surface. Because people who understand how chemical peels work know how they work. They understand the benefits occur at a deeper level. Medical grade chemical peels are a precise way for a doctor to cause a controlled wound to the skin forcing your skin to replace old, flawed skin with new, youthful skin. So when you choose a cosmetic surgeon or a dermatologist, you'll, you'll both discuss the problem that you want to treat. The kinds of problems people often ask me to fix often include things like fine wrinkles on thin, papery skin, or irregular pigment, or large pores, or scarring, or other damage caused by the sun, including non-cancerous moles and spots and freckles. Now, the whole idea is to cause inflammation. We want to cause a reaction down, right down to the depth that is appropriate for your particular skin problem. So, what has peeling got to do with a chemical peel then, I hear you ask? Well, the peeling is actually sec a secondary thing. It has nothing to do with the success of a peel because our skin cells are going to come off anyway. In fact, in fact, it's actually better if the skin doesn't come off immediately in sheets and, and flakes. The, the longer your skin stays on, the better, because just like any other wound, so long as there is no infection, then those dead skin cells are act actually acting like a natural dressing. The dry, burned skin actually helps to protect our new, healthy, young skin underneath, but they're vulnerable from drying out and from the sun. So when it eventually does all disappear, you will have youthful, smooth, more even skin that can sometimes last for months and months, especially if you're smart enough to use the right skincare products recommended by your doctor for your skin type and designed for people who have just had a chemical peel. I'm Gary Eldridge of Bayside Swan and I'll talk to you later. And to find out more, you should really call your doctor. Or you could download my guide to chemical peels from my website, chemicalpeel.net.au.